Ed Rendell, Pennsylvania has led with the debate and solution of gerrymandering. We saw Michigan Proposal 2 last night do what Pennsylvania did with 61 percent of the people going after gerrymandering. Is gerrymandering done? Well, it's not done. The states that have gotten rid of gerrymandering are states that have binding referendums. Uh, Pennsylvania doesn't. We did it by court decision. Uh, and actually, we did it because Democrats elected three out of three Supreme Court judges that were up for election in uh, 2015, and that led to a, a fair redistricting plan. And Republicans won in a lot of close districts in Pennsylvania, so it shows that the plan was fair and balanced and very competitive. It's the way it should be. But I think <clears throat> re gerrymandering is on the way out, but it's not going to be gone by 2020 or 2022. Ed Rendell, I want you to speak to the fiery of the Democratic Party. They want blood. You've been known, even within tough Philadelphia politics, for your grace. How do the Democrats apply grace in the coming months and years? Well, as I said last night, uh, we have to legislate, 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 not just investigate, investigate, investigate. If all we do in the next two years is investigate the Trump administration, do things that are duplicatory of what Robert Mueller's investigation is doing, then we will pay the price for it at the ballot box in 2020. We need to legislate, and that means passing a comprehensive infrastructure bill. And I believe there are Republican votes in the House and the Senate to do just that, and I think the <clears throat> president will sign one. I also think there's an avenue for immigration reform. I think there's enough bipartisan support in the Senate <clears throat> and now in the House with Democrat control to pass a comprehensive immigration reform, even if we need right. to put in a little money for the stupid wall to get the president's uh, uh, signature. I think we can do it. If we solve two major problems like that, if we protect uh, pre-existing conditions, we'll have legislated in a positive way and show the American people that we can govern. We will get the benefit right. of that in 2020. Ed Rendell, with your decades within the Democrat Party, do the Democrats just have to outweigh an aging Republican Party? I see the two losses in Florida. Okay, fine. But is it, is it just a relentless matter of time before the Democrats become a populist majority in America? Well, I think we can become a technical majority you know, in registration. But more and more voters all over the country are registering independent. Independent now is second in some states to having the most registered voters behind, ahead of one of the major parties. So, yeah, we can get titular control of the electorate, but there are swing Republicans and swing Democrats, a lot of them located in the suburbs, and they want to see production. They want to see people try to get things done. If we just become a party bent on vengeance, we will lose even with the demographic shift. Um, Governor, what does it mean for fiscal initiatives? What do the Democrats want? Well, I think the Democrats, look, we can't get things passed through the Senate. I mean, if, if I were king of the world, the first thing I'd do is get rid of that $363 billion tax uh, break for real estate developers over the next 10 years. That's almost twice as much as the president proposed for the American infrastructure, which benefits right. 340 million of us, whereas the real estate uh, developer tax break probably benefits yeah. about 2,000 real estate developers, and use that money to give a real middle-class tax cut. If we did that, it would be pretty hard for a lot of Republicans to vote against it. Would the president sign it? It would be pretty hard for him to vote against a significant tax cut just for the middle class. No, nothing for the top 1 percent or the top 5 percent, but a middle class tax cut that's paid for by getting rid of the real estate tax giveaway in the right. last tax reform bill. Governor, I'd be rude if I didn't let the gentleman from Pennsylvania ask a question, our Kevin Cirilli. Thank you, Tom. What does this mean, Gov, for, for, for the actual chances of infrastructure? I mean, this is something that I think has really, uh, you know, been a, a, dr a dream of the Wawa corridor outside of Philly for quite some time. Well, I think it's been a dream of President Trump's when he was president-elect. He talked about a massive infrastructure revitalization program with big projects. Well, look, we need that. We need that at the federal level. 33 states have passed increases in their gas taxes, and we're ready to go in the states. But we need federal participation. If the president realizes that and leads on the issue, along with the Democrats in the House, we can get real infrastructure reform. Right. But we can't get it on the cheap, guys. It has right. to be paid for. 